Might be. All right, well, the reason for being here, CrossFit Gymnastics Seminar in Iceland. Uh, we're at CrossFit XY this weekend. You can see XY up here behind me. Um, looking forward to smashing this one. 24 participants on the course. It looks like it's going to be an awesome group. Must for every seminar is a new set of pens. All right, guys, if you want to start heading in for registration, bring your registration or your identification. Cool, come on in. Goodbye everyone. <coughs> First rule will be arms up straight above your head, arms behind the line of ear, abs and tight, walking forward, stepping forward in your walking lunges. Off we go. Legs together tight, rise up in position, hold that as your arm. And attend to the wall. So the sweat trips down your arm. Attend to the window. Rotate to the window! <laughs> Rotate to the window! Rotate <laughs> in and burn into that posterior tilt pelvis. So if we go both arms both sides, knees together tight, tuck and hold. Hand underneath hamstring, hand on the lower back. She's going to brace, that's her tuck, and there's her virtuous position. Do you see the difference between the two? We go back to tuck and virtuous tuck. Off the floor five times. Same thing. <laughs> with your hands and squeeze your bum down towards the floor. With your bum squeezed tight down towards the floor, knees together tight, push your upper back to the sky. And I'll just jump up and show you one more good position. So we're going to go bad position, and the cues I like to use from this bad position are squeeze your heels back, squeeze your bum to the sky, quad, knee, touch your toe, touch your knee. It's not knees to triceps, it's not knees to armpits, it's knees to freaking elbows. <laughs> Tight beat swing to begin with. I'm going to give her a tie, she's going to keep my hand. And every time she's looking. Well, that was bad. <laughs> or you can just hug in the sky. <laughs> You're going to go hollow, elbows in tight, touch the floor, drive back up to your hollow. Five reps, guys, off you go. You're creating tension, and the green strap has now come off the arm and the shoulder. We are fully supporting ourselves. So let these straps do the work, push tall. Keep How long should we hold it for? <laughs> you said it. Well, and that's a wrap. I'm only showing you little snippets of the CrossFit gymnastics course. Iceland's been amazing. We have CrossFit Games athletes, CrossFit Games team athletes. Amazing group of people. We've got beginners, we've got coaches, we've got athletes, everything. Super group. Have a look at their photo. All right, so we're on our way out to chase down Northern Lights. We're going to see if we can see them tonight. I've got my camera set up on manual setting mode because I've just learned how to take photos of the Northern Lights. Although my video footage for this section isn't the best, 
it just gets dark and I'm driving in the dark. So the only way I can share this with you is by putting on the photos that I managed to take. It's that sucky time again, traveling home. Okay, so I'm back from Iceland now. Um, Iceland was a fantastic time, an amazing country. Advice for people going to Iceland? Iceland is an expensive country, although if you're smart with it, it's not too bad. I looked in advance to see how much a taxi would be to get to Reykjavik, where um, my hotel was for the course. It would have cost a fortune. It was cheaper to get a car hire than it is to get that one taxi. That made a big difference. Also, having that car hire for the week, it also gave us the flexibility to go where we wanted to go. Golden Circle is a must-do. It's very easy to drive it yourself. The Blue Lagoon is a must-do. You can drive there yourself. The Blue Lagoon, we went in the evening. It was lovely to go in the evening. It was dark. It was nice and relaxing. We could chill out. Uh, it wasn't too busy in the evening. But also, because it was dark and it was steaming so much, you couldn't see so much in the water. From my point of view, I like people on the terms of, I like working with people on the course, I don't like people day to day. I don't like seeing average Joe everywhere I go, especially not the massive fan of tourists. I prefer to go somewhere less touristy um, if I'm going to see some of the sights. That's another reason why I like driving myself around. So if you go in the evening, you will see less people. And if there are more people, you won't see them at all because it's dark. So that, good boy. And then finally, the Northern Lights. Self drove myself around for the Northern Lights. Um, you can pay to get a bus, you can pay to have a, a 4x4 take you out to find the Northern Lights. We found the same locations that they went to on an expensive trip by using a hire car. It probably cost me £5 um, in fuel. Uh, um, thankful for Tucker for being able to send me around the world to do the CrossFit gymnastics. It has been awesome to come to Iceland. An amazing box, CrossFit XY. I'd like to say how amazing the box is, a great facility. Um, super, super layout, amazing athletes in Iceland. Uh, on the course I had the Icelandic CrossFit XY uh, Games team, uh, we also had uh, Thori August, uh, I'm going to mess her name up, but uh, Helga Daughter, um, she was also on the course. The standard of athletes out there is unreal, the standard of the CrossFit out is unreal, the, the health, the fitness, everything's developed amazingly out there. Um, you can see that everything's been pushed properly and correctly. Um, there's no misconceptions being delivered. There's no poor personal training like you would find in the UK. Um, it is an impressive country. The tip of the video this week is looking at how you can start developing your gymnastic positions to apply them for CrossFit or to apply them for your health. We need to remember that gymnastics doesn't just apply to bar work or ring work. Gymnastics applies to your body and its body weight. 
We want to look at your body or your body weight movements as your biomechanics. We want to increase your biomechanics to be the best possible position that we can do. Increase your biomechanics, your movement, your mechanics to a good position. The prevention of injury is going to be astronomically different compared to moving in poor positions because of your actual body weight movements poor. So if you think about applying a barbell movement, if you can't find front rack, there's a limitation in your body. Instead of fighting it with a barbell all the time, let's focus on your gymnastics position, prevent the injury, and then come back to barbell. Finally, in relation to your development of a gymnastic movement, if you're thinking about developing whether you're coming back into training or you're the best athlete, we always want to be going back to these basics. There are three types of levers in your body, first class, second class, and third class degree levers. These different levers um, are named first, second, third class just because of the relationship of the fulcrum. So for instance, my elbow joint would be the fulcrum, the force, which is the muscle that applies the force, and the load, which would obviously be down in my hand. So to give you an example of one, two, and three, my head is one, my ankle is one, and my elbow is another one. Now, if we look at reducing levers down, if I was to have a dumbbell in my hand and I wanted to make a bicep curl, for instance, easier, if I only had a 10 kilo dumbbell, the only way I can make a 10 kilo dumbbell bicep curl easier is to move the dumbbell higher up the arm, reducing the length of the lever. And we're applying the same principle to gymnastics. Now, if we reduce our lever in gymnastics, the only thing that we can reduce is the length of our body. So if you have your hands out above your head in a hollow, we can bring our hands down into our side. If you have your legs straight out in a hollow, we can tuck those knees up into your chest. Being a tight small ball and hollow is your smallest, most reduced lever position. And we can slowly extend one leg out, another leg out. We can bring our legs out into straddle, which is still a reduction of the lever until we come into that nice, long, tight, straight line. Remember, we're looking for tension, and if we can gain the tension through position, it is the most transferable thing we have for force within a movement. The more tension, the more power we can apply, the more efficiency we have. Now remember, power is strength at speed. We're looking at creating tension by creating strength in body positions. You apply this strength, that speed, that is power. If you just apply the speed, for example, a kip, without the strength, we will still have reduced power. So whether you can go and kip 20 ring muscle-ups because you throw your head flying forward through the rings, consider how much better you would be if you could develop the strength in position to be able to gain more tension to increase that power. Then consider what happens to your efficiency. Hopefully this is food for thought. It's less of a, a video on this one. I could show you a tuck hollow video. I could show you a hollow body position video. Um, I'm sure you'll see these a lot uh, on CrossFit Gymnastics, on CrossFit Gymnastics Instagram. Um, on my uh, hope you're all well. Thanks for watching. And I will be in Turkey this week. And then following weekend is Netherlands. Um, I will be flying into Amsterdam to go to Al um, Almira, I believe it is. Joyce will tell me off for saying it wrong. But is it Joyce's box? with her partner, Junior, um, and the other business partners, Wes and Shanna. Um, looking forward to going to see those guys. We've got a huge course there in the Netherlands. Uh, 32, 33 already booked on, I believe. Uh, we're really close to selling that course out. So if you want to see me in the Netherlands, you'll want to come do the CrossFit Gymnastics course in the Netherlands. Make sure you register soon, because that's going to be gone. Leave the comments, leave your questions in below. And don't forget to subscribe to this. Follow me along, I will be posting more gymnastic videos, tips, training,